Hello and welcome to Talking Baseball. It's time to figure out who is still a JM Baseball All-Star April through August. Let's do it. Hello and welcome to Talking Baseball. It's the midweek episode. It's brought to you by DraftKings. Thank you very much for joining us today. My name is Jimmy. Sitting next to me is Jake in California. We got Trev and BBD producing behind the dish. And it's time to figure out who gets bumped from the mm. seasonal mm. Talking Baseball all team, whatever we're calling this, and who sticks around. And I'm interested to see how many of the all-stars that were in Colorado mm. are not on the squad anymore or how many are still on the squad, you know, cause it's a yeah. season long thing. So that's the episode today, midweek episode, not live. Uh, but we love everyone who usually joins live in YouTube. Hopefully you're enjoying the premiere. Trevor, how are you doing? James, Jacob and big, big Don. You know, I, I, I FaceTimed Jake early in the morning today. And ever since then, I've just been in this mood. Like I just, <laughs> I just want to grab him, yeah, and Big wrestle time. or something. I don't know. Yeah. I don't necessarily want to punch you in the face. I just want to wrestle you a little bit. You're missing I don't know me. How you're feeling about that? You, <laughs> we, you feel that? Is we it, saw is it each other. Love or yeah, something? we were on the road last week. We were, you know, tugging each other. And then, not to give too much away on the Facetime, your your beautiful wife and queen Olivia said mm -hmm. you know it looks like jake works out a lot which whoops wow um so she said something of that ilk yeah. wasn't exactly verbatim but yeah i'm butter knife guy. i'll give it to you uh so yeah things are tense um i'm missing you like Maybe hell that's it. i know we're some rumors i'm i'm gonna put something into the ether online and we'll we'll take it offline but we might might have to get you out here for the wild card game or something we'll talk about it we'll talk about it um would be a fun they, time. Well, the Yanks got to make the wild card. Well, does it? We could watch no, any team no. in the wild card. Track. The Yanks, okay. actually, if the Yanks make the wild card, that's a, that's different. Then we probably find a way in the building, which yeah. you would love. So I'll be in the building. You'll be in the building. But but for an NL wild card, we got to get you out here on the recliners with us. Unless it's in LA, then I'm going to go to the game. Mm. Mm. You guys are going to fly out. Well, then mm. then you'll be out here for the DS games. You're yeah, coming we'll to live stream. All right, we're, we're we're planning it. Yeah. All right. This episode's brought to you by Roman. Jake has a very quick, important question. He asked me this question. Yeah. I'm talking Yanks. I answered as honestly as I could. He's going to throw it to Trev. Trev doesn't know what the question is, but this question and this episode and this segment is brought to you by Roman. We'll get a little more into that um, later. But first, Jake, can you ask the pressing question? Trev, I I love the phrase Roman ready. You know, I, I think that's what should speak to the people. If you're Rome and ready, you know. You know. So I wanted to lay out two scenarios. You're, you know, necking with a beautiful woman, and your downstairs doesn't work. Are you happy or not happy? Not happy. Not happy. Now, mm -hmm. you're necking with the same beautiful woman, and your downstairs works fantastic. Are you happy or not happy? I'm happy. That's what I'm saying with this same, Roman ready. Jimmy I had, had the, the same, same answer. Yeah, I was on the same page. BBD reverse. What Very is odd. necking? <laughs> like yeah. I, I feel like I sort of know what necking is, but I don't. Necking? Yeah. And it's an old term for rubbing necks together like giraffes. Uh, so uh, Roman can help you become Roman ready. You get a free online evaluation, ongoing care for erectile dysfunction, all from the comfort and privacy of your home. The whole process is straightforward, convenient, and discreet. Go to GetRoman.com slash John Boy today, and if you're prescribed, you get 50% off. Say it costs a dollar, now it's 50 cents. Your first month of ED treatment. Make sure you're ready to have confidence and control this summer. Roman ready. I like it. You guys know I have a Roman nose. I should be the spokesperson mm. for Roman. Yes. Maybe you should be. They kind of are right now. Yeah. Oh, I guess that's true. That's I'm kind of actually. what this is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you answered Jake's question Jake. beautifully. You for okay. your Roman nose and me for my Roman... Schwingsford. 
All right, let's get into the All Stars. We're, we're not calling it All Stars. What did we decide to call this? The All the All, the all JM team. All JM team. Okay, because All Stars is already taken. Yeah. You guys are ready. Some are so. easy. Some there's actually I think more tough conversations this month than ever before. Wow. So we'll start with an easy one: the American League first baseman. He was the first baseman mm. after one month. He was the first baseman after two, after three, after four, after five months into the season. The American League first baseman is Vladdy Jr. Slim Daddy oh. Vladdy pole to pole. It's very good. J- Trevor, are you shaking your head in disagreement or just in awe of how good he is? Uh, astonishment at yeah. what the numbers are already. And we still have a, a full month of baseball left to play. He has a 170 OPS plus, meaning he's been 70% better than the average mm. hitter. Mm. And uh, crazy, good. you know, soft reminder, he's 22 years old. He, whenever you're mentioning Tatis or Ronnie or whoever, mention Vladito. Yeah. I like that he put in work and lost weight and it made him better. Yeah. A lot of times these guys go on these crazy diets and like it doesn't work. CC went on something like that, right? And like, yeah. it, was it good? No, he he had to get big again. He said more mass, more gas was his mm, pitching yeah, philosophy. CC, yeah, Trev, this worked out for Vladdy. I, I know you and I are mending fences early today. Mm-hmm. I'd like to toot your horn a little bit. I think you came up with a new stat today, the Gibby. Mm-hmm. You want to tell the people what that is? It's not necessarily a stat. It's more of a club. Oh, and. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know this so yet? You, Do you know this yet? I saw it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's there's only one way to get in, and you got to have gold, bold, or italics on your baseball reference page. I'm assuming you're going to throw it to Vladdy's B-Ref page. Vladdy, this season currently has six Gibby going on, mm. so that's a, that's a sign of a good year. I don't know. What does the italics mean? All time, or no, both uh, leagues. Italics is your leading all of baseball. Bold is your yeah, leading all of baseball. Wow. Leading. Look yeah. at the people in the replies. The players like the Gibby. They huh? love it. They love Well, the it's Gibby. a very special club. Yeah. So you're in it. I'm in it, yeah. yeah. Forever. Whoops. No one could ever take that away from me. That is badass. Yeah. Like you're etched yeah. into the book. It's like when Brett Favre's first pass he ever threw in the NFL went for a touchdown. Who cares? It was an interception pick six. Went for a touchdown. That's what he said right exactly. afterwards. It's in the book. Like All right. Second base. This has been interesting. Mm. Uh, just to remind mm. you, after April, Nick Solak got the yeah. nod. After uh, April plus May, it was Simeon. April, May, June, Simeon again. April, May, June, July, Simeon again, but it was getting very close between him and Altuve. And now, five months into the season, uh, we haven't decided. We have to figure this out. Altuve has more F4 than Simeon. Uh, They're very similar. They're similar enough games played, played appearances, that I don't think it fully matters. Simeon scored more runs. Simeon has more hits. Simeon Mm. has more doubles. Uh, Simeon has more home runs. Uh, Simeon has more stolen bases. Altuve has a higher batting average. Altur- Altuve has a higher on base percentage. Uh, Simeon has a higher OPS, and Simeon has a higher OPS plus. So it all depends on what you like. My vote remains Simeon. I just don't understand B War F War because B War has five seven for Simeon and three three for Altuve. It's the worst thing about War, and makes me not like it. If yeah. Fan graphs and baseball reference could put down their swords and come together. But the fact that different websites have different answers for the same stat makes me not like the stat itself. You know, imagine if you went and it was like OPS plus was this here and that there, or, you know, slugging was this here and that there. Like, we have to be uniform here. And I hate that aspect of war. The wars need to go to war together and figure it out. Because if you took, if you hid the war... On this, it's Simeon going away. Yeah. The F war has me a little nervous, but like Trev's saying with the B war, and now we're talking about both of them too much, I'm leaving Simeon. 
I was. Is pretty- there like a if you're a Fangrass guy, are you like leveled up on Baseball Reference or like how does that work? Like, mm. is Baseball Reference more like traditional? Fangrass, Fangrass is more, more projecting. Like Fangrass is definitely more for analytics and projecting. And baseball yeah. reference is definitely more for the past and what's happened. I, I would yes. to generalize. Okay, I'm a, I'm a B ref guy. Oh, I love baseball reference. My favorite website on the internet. Mm. I'm taking Simeon. Besides Corn Hub, which is a spot that sells Jersey corn. Add, add. Corn's so good. I love corn. I uh, when I saw the war, I was hoping Altuve's other numbers. Add it up. We're right? going to be there more, but they, they don't. Yeah. Um, so, Jose, have a September and take it right at the end. It's, Tell a story. He's been there all year, but I'm – you're Simeon you as well, Trev? It. Yeah, I'm Simeon. Okay. I think it's three months in a row Simeon's just beat out. I'll yeah, they've been battling. They've been battling. Blue Jays this right next, side. This next grouping is something mm. else. Yep. In April, the shortstop was Carlos Correa. Then the next time, it was Bogarts. Then the next time, it was Correa. Then the next time, it was Bogarts. They've been flip-flopping Uh-oh. every month after five months. It's not just the month of August. Some people continue to forget that. It's accumulation of the season. We have. They're very close in F4. They are incredibly close in games and plate appearances. So the counting stats, you can straight up just compare them, basically. It's 123 games. To 120, 521 plate appearances to 518. So there's no discrepancy of like per at bat, really. It's just straight up. And counting stats Bogarts has uh, 13 more hits, but he's got 10 less runs. That's batting order stuff. Um, they both have a lot of doubles. Bogarts' home run page is wrong on our sheet. How many home runs does Xander have? They both have, have 20. Both have 20? And they both have 69 RBIs? Mm. Yep. Jeez. Hot. Uh, Correa, 10 more runs and uh, zero steals for Correa, though. Let's go, man. Pick them legs up. All right. So now you go to the slash lines. Xander's got a better batting average, but Correa's got a better on base percentage. Xander's got a better slugging. He's got a better OPS. Uh, We don't have the OPS plus here. 129 OPS plus. OPS plus for Xander and 132 for Carlos. Mm. Mm. Man, I don't know. Do you have a lean, Jake? Mm. Do we have to go into some more nerdy stats? I think I'm going to take Correa. What's what's to choose one? What's uh, leading you that way? Um, his attitude. And not to say that Bogarts has like a bad attitude or something. I'm just I've been on the Correa train this year, and with numbers this similar, I think you have to have something to differentiate. Diff- I can't even talk today. Whatever. Mm. All right. Uh, I mean, I'm going Co- with the attitude. Correa has a little higher uh, weighted runs created plus, and he's got a little X woba. If you're going off like unlucky mm. or stuff like that, it's very. It might be the closest we've had Correa. And I think Bogarts. defensively, Correa. I'm looking at that's both worth, of their kind of their baseball savant that. outs above average ratings, which isn't the be all end all, but just mm-hmm. metric I picked out. Bogarts is f- is first percentile. Uh, Carlos Correa is ninety eighth. Mm-hmm. There you go. Correa wins. <sighs> Not the be all end all, but yeah. I uh, oh, let's piss off Red Sox fans. Uh, my vote before hearing Trevor was Correa. These numbers are so tight that I think it goes to mm. a field test. Okay, I like. And I think that's acceptable. If they're if they're you're playing one game, I'd rather see Bogarts than Correa. Uh, Correa is scary on both sides of the ball. I mean, Bogarts. What his offensive numbers are like super underrated. He deserves to be highlighted more across MLB at what he does at the shortstop position. But Correa, man, both sides, that guy will ruin your day. Ruin your day. Yeah. Yeah. Do they both bat? Like, Correa mostly is batting third. He bounces around a little bit, whereas Bogarts is batting third as well. 
That's so similar. That's I'm going to go Correa as well. It's eerily similar. It's tough. I'll go Correa as well for the defense. That's uh, as close as it gets, though, right there. Yeah. And now at third base, I mm-hmm. think we have something even sadder for Red Sox fans. Mm. Devers had it after April. Devers had it after April and May. Devers had it after April, May, and June. Devers had it after April, May, June, July. And according to our chart here, it's Jose Ramirez's spot now after wow. five months. Wow. Wow. Whoa. Okay. I need to see I need to see Devers numbers. So it's it is still neck and neck. Um Devers, 32 homers. Ramirez, 31. Ramirez, 87 runs. Devers, 82. Devers, 96 RBI. Ramirez, 84. Uh, ooh, this is where Ramirez. The bags. Ramirez, wow. It was Ramirez. It was Ramirez. 19 swipes for J Ram. Mm. And he gets a little defensive nudge over Rafa. That's that's the differentiator. Damn. Same exact on base percentage. Mm. J Ram's got a lesser batting average, but a higher slugging, barely. He's got a higher OPS, barely. 140 OPS plus for J Ram, 136 for Devers, 19 steals for Ramirez. Mm. More runs. It's very close, but. Uh, again, you're the, when the offensive numbers are so close, you go to some other shit and you go to base running and defense, and J Ram has him there. Jose Ramirez is so good. Do you know what they're paying this guy? Not enough. Isn't it ten mil? Since, since 2016, that was like his. He had an, he had MVP 17 votes, and then after that, he's been J Ram as we know it. 2016, he made 518. Remember, he signed a contract. Barely under a million, 2017, 2.8, 4.1, 6.6. This year he's making 9.4. We're talking a perennial top five MVP guy. Man. And they've paid him now throughout his career $25 million for, a, you know, six years of service. In, au- crazy. in August, J-Ram hit nine homers and stole eight bases, didn't get thrown out once. He can get to 30-30. Got to have a big September. Like, he can... He can... Not casually, but he can he can have 40-20 like we just freaked out about Otani doing that. He could have that with a good power month. He could have 40-30, like just he another was, season for him. He was um, very close to 40-40 in 2018. 30, 39 homers and 34 stolen bases. 40-40, bro. Underrated. Damn. And he kind of looks like Jake, so that's awesome. Underrated. Thick <laughs> king. Yeah. He's got the new chains going now. They're all like with his image on them. He's he's living it. You up. know. You know what I take Fitch. solace in. What's take solace mean? Like um, find like a nugget of like find hope? Peace? peace. I don't know. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, the fact that there's a peace. month left and Devers can steal it back. Okay. Mm. Sox know, Nation needs it because um, it was his all season. Yeah, and now it's going to J Ram. Damn. Ramirez and uh, Devers, both in the Gibby Club. Correa in the Gibby Club. Bogarts, not mm. in the Gibby Club. Speaking yeah. of differentiators. Jose Ramirez, team options each of the next two off-seasons for 12 and $14 million. <laughs> such a joke. Pick them up. Team-friendliest contract Pick them up. All right, uh, AL catcher. It is Salvador Perez. I'm, I don't think any of us are going to not give it to Salvador Perez, but Zanino has a higher OPS plus than him, higher slugging than him, and uh, like some numbers that are good. Uh, he's played a lot less games. Salvi has the second most home runs in the AL. It's going to Salvador Perez, but it's going to. Salvador. It is funny that he doesn't even lead in like all slash lines for how good of a season it is as a catcher in his own league. Yeah. Yeah. It's to me. It's the games played. I think that's such a yeah. I was giving it to him for that after just two months. I was like, well, he's there every yeah. day. It's a source of pride for catchers. And Sal's, you know, when healthy, he's in there. You know, at least six out of seven. Man, like he doesn't want to take those days off. Sal gets it. Give Big Z some love, man. What a what a year from Zanino. You know, we kind of look at him as this raise party trick. He's having 
Yeah. A nice baseball season. He is. So, Your freaking raise party okay. trick. Okay. All right, let's go to the outfield. This is fun. Mm. April, Buxton, Trout, Mullins. April plus May, Adelise Garcia, Judge, Loriano. Mm. I mean, Trout, Buxton, Loriano. Are we just jinxing people if you get on here? After mm. April, May, June, Mullins, Judge, Garcia. Mm. April, May, June, July, Mullins, Judge, Gallo. You guys voted for Gallo. I voted for Brantley. Mm. And now April, May, June, July, August. It says here we have four to choose from. Mullins, Judge, still there. Uh, the war for those guys is the top two. Um, and then we have Gallo again and mm. Kike. Mm. How about that? I had to mm. look into Kike. I had to look into his numbers a little bit. Mm. Cedric Mullins has 24 home runs and 48 RBIs. I know he hits at the top of the order, but Orioles. Let's yeah. let's let's figure it out a little bit. Twenty four homers, twenty four swipes. Get to thirty thirty, Cedric. That's awesome. Oof. Um, yeah, I mean Mullins and Judge are clear out there. It's pretty shocking. I mean, I think it goes to Gallo or Kike, as we're I think we're about to decide on. I think the shocking part, after them, the three options might be the three Houston outfielders. <laughs> it could be, well, they have Alvarez listed here, but Tucker, Brantley. God, even old Miles Straw was listed there. Um, this is tough. How about Kike? Well, Judge and Mullins are there, right? Judge and Mullins are there. Judge and Mullins are there. Kike, yeah. Where has he played a lot this year? He's he's moved around. I feel like he's been going back to second base. Yeah, no? in the last like fourteen games he's been infield. So mm. I mean, we don't have a util spot in the American League the way we've been doing this. We just have a DH. Yeah. Wait, didn't we say we were going to add one? We added the util to the NL. NL. Okay, seventy three games the in the outfield compared to forty one or forty eight in the infield. Uh, does Stan now get votes for outfield since he's playing? Because that would bump Ooh. him. That would bump him to list this list. He's got an eight sixty four OPS. That's better than Gallo and Kike. Yeah, but this is not just a hitting list, Jim. We got to take in count defense. Playing good defense. Right? Stan's been fine out there. I think his complete outfield profile isn't there. But maybe by the end of the year, he'll have played enough outfield for us to. Yeah, I don't know if I have Stanton there for August. He could trick me. with For just August, yes. If he but. keeps playing five out of seven games in the outfield in September, then Stanton might trickle into this conversation. He could. he could. For just August, he's there for sure. All right, so, I mean, Judge and Mullins are in, right? Yes. I'm going to go with – I'm going to vote for Gallo. Um, you guys say it all the time. This is a results so award. It's a results award, yeah. So he's got – Counting stats like he's he wins all of those, so I'm giving it to Gallo over Kike. Um, all right, man, I still love what Brantley's doing. On the year. I know I did the no no hit no walk stat, and Gallo and Brantley were the same. I still love what what Brantley's doing. He still got three fifteen, three seventy, one thirty runs created plus. Who's your vote? Kiki doesn't play enough outfield for me is to get it or to be part of this. He's played more infield lately since they got Schwarber. Man, Gallo right. almost stays on by default, which is tough. It doesn't feel like all why JM is this, team stuff. Why is this not a very impressive list? We're combining every outfield spot. It's the outfield in the American League. It should be nothing but sluggers. Why are like why are these numbers not as impressive as like Vladdy's or you know what I mean? Like why, why are we not picking from like ten guys? Exactly. That's what that's this has confused me all year how the Amer American League outfield standouts is a shallow list. Yeah. 
You're damn right it is. Now I'm getting more and more into it, and yeah, I mean, there's, I don't know. It's odd. We'll go Gallo then, and we a lot all, of platooning, we, I guess. I think we, that's probably what we're seeing. And we all just shrug and say, okay. Yeah, I just I need someone to Look. show the heart in September because I'm I'm open to anyone. You want to leave it open, say no one's deserved a third. That's tough. Okay. I don't. No. That's not how I operate. No. <laughs> Um, but man, I'm looking like, I almost want to go dead heat and like bring everyone in. Like you love the challenge, Jimmy. Yeah. Like I want to bring in Brantley. Hell, Kyle Tucker having a nice year. Gallo, Kike, Teoscar Hernandez. Like I almost want to bring in the whole second tier and be like, whoever wins September, you get the spot. I think that's how it's going to happen. But you have to choose one for now. I think Gallo stays by default. All it's right. Not not proud. Kyle, when you post the, the social media graphic on this and you include Gallo, just put a parenthesis and say, by default, no one's impressive because... Yeah. He just had his, like, worst month. Yeah, he, he just had, stays yeah, on. Stays on. People just it see the cumulative. graphic and get mad all the time. Uh, all right. That wraps up the offensive. Uh, Shohei's the DH. Sure. Good. Good job, Shohei. Starter. Forever. He's just going to be there. It's the Shohei position. The starter. There's two guys. Um, man, there's a couple. You got Rodon. Who are we picking? You got Rodon. You got Cole. You got Robbie Ray. We're we picking one. You got Lance Lynn still. Yeah, just one. Mm. That's tough. Mm hmm. Cole's pitched. I like, man. I like Lance Lynn. My guy. I like Lynn, too. He just got rocked by the Cubbies. 135 yeah. innings pitched. The less innings pitched, but the 259 ERA. Robbie Ray has, you know, 160 innings pitched. So that's the most out of all the contenders here with a 271. Robbie Ray. Rodon, uh, only 114. So that's, that's the least. But he's got a two four three. I think I want to leave it with Lance, but I'm almost not expecting it to get it in sub- at the end of the year. Me neither. Damn. Yeah. I think I might give it to Robbie Ray just because he finally eclipsed the inning mark and now has fucking gold on his page. I think I think it's I'm big gibby. out. It's a big gibby. Robbie Ray and Cole are very similar numbers. Um, Cole's thrown two complete games, one shutout. Man, these stats are so even. I mean, Cole's got like two less starts, but only 11 less innings pitched than Robbie Ray. Like, this is how messed up my brain is. I think I have Lance Lynn over Cole. I think I have Robbie Ray over Lance Lynn, but I think I have Cole over Robbie Ray. I've got mm, everyone eating each sense. other in a circle. Wow. That makes sense. So, who do we want? My vote is going to be for Lance. I'm, keep, I'm keeping it Lance. I'm going Robbie Ray. Are you guys out? Uh, Gibby. Outweigh me. Yeah. Combined, yeah. <laughs> All right, that's your uh, AL. You want to walk through it, Jake? Who, who, who got left? Who's the final there? Real quick. The final AL September all JM team. We're going to have baseball reference put it on their website. Vladito, Marcus Simeon, a Blue Jays right side. How about Carlos Correa and Jose Ramirez? Boogity, boogity, boogity. In the outfield, Cedric Mullins, Aaron Judge, Joey Gallo by default, and your DH. We skipped over him pretty quickly. Showtime, Shohei Otani. As, by the way... He's approaching 50 ding-dongs this year. Jeez. What Garrett? Oh, not Garrett Cole. Lance Lynn on the bump. Salvador Perez catching. Lance Lynn on the bump. Salvi catching. Good job. It's a good team. You think so? I do. Um... I'm just going to do the six innings pitched. Most games with six innings pitched, two earned runs or less. In the American Robbie League. Ray's been pretty good at that. Yeah. He does have the most in the AL. 
Glass now stars. He's tied with Glass now. Mm. In pitch in a minute. Oh no 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 I did it. I did it wrong. All right. Jake, who's bringing us the National League side of things? Vegas with Garrett Cole as the favorite to win the Cy Young. He just passed Lancer. Uh speaking of Trev, you know, there's trophies. What if I told you there's basically a trophy you can drink out of with dug out mugs? Mm. There may be bugs on some of your mugs, but there ain't no bugs on me. Dug out mugs, they are the best. We all have them. We've all drank out of them. We've used them as props. I've hit balls with them. They don't recommend that. They recommend you drink out of it because, man, talk about a power play. Trev's got the knob shot right now. Might drink some of those come wild card game. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Uh, if you are a baseball fan or you have a baseball fan in your life, dugout mugs is a need. Uh, they have MLB logos. They have they got some talking baseball, John Boy Media stuff on there. They have player stuff. They have it all. And if you use promo code TALKIN, 30% off site-wide. Whoo! That's a deal, Buck. Mm. Dugoutmugs.com slash talking for 30% off for the baseball fan in your life or treat yourself. Summer's winding down. Treat yourself to a dugout mug. Pour a nice beer in there. Watch some baseball. Hello. Dugout mugs. I, I'm Garrett Cole's my pick. Hello. Changed it. Garrett Cole has 16 games, six innings pitch, two earned runs or less. Robbie Ray has 15. Lance Lynn has 12. Mm. That's uh, I'm changing changing my vote to Garrett Cole. So who gets mm. it? He's a little too whiny for me. That's the Stimulator only simulator? BBD? Because I'm Lance, Trev's Rob, you're Gare. Yeah. I mean, we're playing Eileen Cole. Garrett Cole. And I truly was thinking it Reasons? before. Oh. <laughs> Reasons? Yankee fan. Wow. I watch every start. No, he is, he is like good. And it's also Dan keeps tweeting mm. stat, stats and stuff and just saying like, wow, it's no, so obvious. That's, that's not the, the best worst argument. No, it's not the best argument. I never reasons. never said it was the best argument. My argument's great. He's got the most like it's good. good good starts. Six six innings pitch or more, two earned runs or less. He's got the most in the American League. I don't value collective ear right at the end of value like day in, day out, how many times are you just like giving us a win? He's got the most. You know who else? Chris Bassett has 15 of those. Bassett. I'm just feeling well. All right. NL, let's do it. Let's oh, do it. Wait, who gets it? Cole. Cole. Well, I don't care. Put all three. None of this actually matters. It's going on baseball reference, oh. Jim. Uh, National League catchers. I mean, it's been posy like all year. Mm. It's still got to be posy, right? Yeah, it's still Posey. We have uh, our list here has a bunch. We have Posey, we have Ramuto, we have Smith, because the war uh, F-, F war is all similar. Posey mm-hmm. plays less games. He's older. He's got less it's plate hurt. appearances. And he, did he get hurt for a little bit? Um, but the counting stats, he's kind of right there. I mean, he's got ninety three hits. That's Ramuto has ninety eight. He's got the more runs, RBIs. He's less. Who cares about that? Um, he's got the highest batting average. He's got the highest on base percentage. He's got the highest OPS. It's still Buster Posey for me. Trev's nodding his head, diving, dipping, dodging. He's thinking he likes Dodger Will Smith. Hat on right now. He like likes Will Smith. Will Smith. I do. I do. I mean, there's nothing wrong with Buster Posey. He's been having an incredible year. Has he won it every single month, Jim? Well, the first month after April, we forgot about him because he just straight up didn't meet the qualified games, so we gave it to Carson oh, yeah. uh, Kelly, but it, but the comments was like, you how, you forgot about Posey, and I was like, oh, shit. It was our mistake but, uh, on the records. Posey's gotten it since then. For I like catchers that play a lot of games i know it's not too many games difference 20 games on our sheet 107 for will smith buster posey 87 oh man i'm a big will smith fan so i'm gonna vote for will smith 
we'll let Jakey Boy decide uh, decide this one. And shout out JT Romutu who's also had a excellent campaign. I'm glad JT is fully back in the mix. It's kind of been a while since we had a good JT talk about him in there. Uh, I'm leaving Buster by a nose. Uh, it's a little bit of a, a tip of the hat to him for the career in the Giants season. Um, but yeah, I mean, Will Smith can clip him pretty easily. If Will Smith has a better September, I, th- I think it's Big Willie style. Will Smith also underrated. He's so good. He's so good. I'm fine with Buster doing it. I mean, he's he's earned it. But I, I I want to go on record as saying in August, Willie, you're my guy. Okay. Some Will Smith stats. Jesus. Will Smith yeah. is 26 years old. Mm-hmm. Guess his career OPS. It's high. It's in the eight. Eight fifty two. Nine fifteen, boys. Oh, sheesh. Didn't know that. She's good. She's Louise. Yeah. Jeez. He's coming for you, Buster. Little NL West. Whoever wins the NL West. Wow. That scares me. Yeah. For Buster. Well, Buster's a special dude. Dig deep. Yeah. Okay. Um, First base. Hmm. Wow, first base in the NL. Let's see, who has it been? Get this out of here. It's Muncie, right? There's one pick. It's Muncie? Yeah. Thick Daddy Mac. Has he had it the whole time? Aguilar got it I think he, after April. He might have been at a different position earlier. Right, he did have some position concerns. What's he been playing? A lot of first base now. Well, then he's got it. Mad Max. Cody Bellinger is a role player on the Dodgers team right now. MVP at a role player. I mean, I wish him the best. What's Max Muncy? Max Muncy's also one of the better stories like in baseball. 390 on base percentage, 933 OPS. Mm. Man, at one point, Freddie was coming for him. I think last month you said, like, watch out. Freddie might be coming. You wouldn't be surprised. He still is. He he's still on his butt, but you just can't give it to him over Mad Max for now. Um, yeah, I know. I know Max had a little funk. I think at the end of August, but I mean Muncy, isn't he kind of in the MVP race? Yeah, he had, he didn't have a great month in August, so that's why he's kind of fallen back. And now I think Harper is leading it in in Vegas. I'm pretty sure him and Tatis have kind of cooled a little bit. Mm. Tatis missed some time. Um, Still 791 OPS, so like your down month is still yeah. pretty damn good. Other than that, it's been 815, one daughter, 885, and 964 in the other months. So collectively, he's just doing it. I, I, it's Muncie. Okay. Muncie 90, it is. 93 of his 114 games participated at first base. So nice. he's there. All right, second base in the National League. This one's always been... I don't think it's ever been a clean sweep. It's always been a conversation. Uh, Jazz Chisholm got it after April. Then we went Frazier. Uh, then we went Frazier again. Uh, then we went Crone Zone. Got it last month. And now is it still the two of them? No. We have Frazier has fallen off. We got Crone Zone versus Segura. Gene. Maybe he's infield. What's Cronenworth been playing? Yes, he's been playing shortstop. He's been playing shortstop all month. Do positions matter? At, he's been playing shortstop Rice. all month. Yeah. Do positions matter? And what matter? are we doing with Tatis? Because he's at the next spot. He hasn't been playing. Ah, shit. <laughs> Damn these guys. Tatis, stop making so many errors so you can play shortstop. I mean, Tatis is on the team. <laughs> Ha-ha. I mean, this is what happened with KB earlier. This is messy. This is messy. Where do you slot these guys? Well, anyway, uh, Gene Segura is not on the team. Cronenworth's on the team. And ta- I think we go, he still has more games at second base. Uh, yeah, 89 games. He's only 
playing 29 at short. This is a cumulative award, Jim. Okay, so after September, we'll have some more decisions to make and look at it. But right now, put him there for now. I need to think. Yeah, and then you got to put Tatis at short, and then we got to think. It'll be an yeah, interesting conversation come October. Tatis's numbers are I mean, stupid. Dude's missed so much time. He's only played 100 games, and he's still got... 36 home runs? Yeah, he's doing it. What the fuck? BBD took him under, what, 100 RBIs? Be tight. Under 101 and a half. Be tight. And, yeah, I'm like, it's crazy that that's even in the discussion for how many games that he's missed. Yeah. I took him over 160-something hits, and I don't so think he's going to get to Stupid, there. dude. He's going he's gonna to get to the 40-20 club, and he, he's going to play 120 games. What's mm. the what's the least amount of games played and you get to 40-20? I don't have that off the top of my head. What? The, uh, no, dude, I thought you were bad. stumped the schwab. That's my bad. Just stump. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Uh, Trey Turner, by the way, deserves some love. No. Uh, the war gods <laughs> love him. He's hitting, I love Trey Turner, he's hitting 322, 368, 881 OPS. And maybe what might become most important is that he plays shortstop. So, yeah, uh, that might, interested that might to see where favorite. that lands come October. This is a mess. Crone Zone's at second. Tatis is at short. It'll <laughs> figure itself out in September. You know, the people that like don't listen to the show have... and just read the graphic on Twitter are going to be mm. so mad. Very mad. What? Well, it, on the graphic, it'll just be the positions that I think everyone thinks of them at. So I think just the graphic uh, people. If you don't think uh, all the replies the are going to be, I need to play yes. a position. No, I think that'll be plenty of comments. I for the last month. Yeah. Uh, yes. Trey Turner. Good job, Trey Turner, but Tatis I, has you beat. I mean, I, that's. I mean, you tell Turner be. that Tatis is the all-team shortstop, a dude who literally got demoted from shortstop. He's going to be upset. So in, come at the end of the year, we'll see what happens. I'm starting to get Why don't we just put Trey Turner at shortstop and put Tatis in I'm the outfield I'm starting to get now. worried about someone's spot in the outfield. And but I, not Turner. for this month. Not I think for this that's month. the next month problem. It's a next month problem. I think we put Trey Turner this month, and then we take Tatis and put him in the outfield. Why not? Pirates fans fucking need this, Trev. <laughs> Who's, I don't even know who's on the Pirates besides Cole Tucker and Key Brian Hayes. That's the problem. That's I think Trey, uh, Trey Turner's man. played more position, more games at not shortstop than Tatis has. Say that again? Trey Turner has played more games at not shortstop than Tatis has. This season? There you go. Yeah, Trey Turner's played what 20 is, games at second base. That's a hell of a by BBD. Utility Trey Turner, just opened 20 up. games at second base. Tatis, I think, 13 yeah, games boy. at right field. Nice job, BBD. Trey Turner might be eligible for the util spot. Okay. Hell yeah. Ooh. All right. Um. So who's our third baseman? Mm-hmm. This is hectic. Is it Young Thick? Holy smokes. Yes. I think it's the boss of the South, man, Young Thick. In April, He's been doing it. it was KB. In April and May, it was Young Thick. In April, May, June, it was JT. In April, May, June, July, it was Machado. Mm-hmm. This is the first time someone's going to have it twice. It is uh, Young Thick. At the end of the season, we should have a. Like two graphics that says AL, like month by month, so people can see the change in it. And Do then a little like, like Instagram slideshow thing. Yeah. Or like mm-hmm. just two, you know, it's like, you know, catch your first. It's probably just, easier to see on the baseball reference page. You'll just be able to click through it. Oh, yeah. I saw a video Ooh. of Young Thick on social media. What was he doing? This is, this is, bef- this was Young Young Thick. This was like some high school showcase. He wasn't doing that. You're disgusting. He was thicker back then. <laughs> the guy's thinned out. He was a freaking horse. Yeah. So, like, young, thick, I think we might have to start calling him something different. Has I know El Caballo has been used as a nickname uh, for a couple guys. Has the horse been used? No. In English, you'd say show pony. And uh, uh, tell me how to speak in English. And and, and uh, in 
we say like he's a horse. Like it's like a right. term. It's not like a specific. That's person. where I think the horse is hilarious. Yeah. Austin Isn't Riley's Chavis. The horse. If anyone was gonna be it, if anyone was gonna be it, it would have been Mad Bum. Dude views himself to have it uh, self as a horse. He's not built Ch- as a Chavis horse. Is in the show? Yeah, but he views himself as he's a horse. He's on the pirate mindset wise. Well, no, he's like when Mad Bum's on the mound, constantly thinking, "What would my horse do here?" Right. He's kind of like when. What do you call them? Horse girls? Girls that grow up that want to be a horse? Yeah. Horse Mad girl. Bum's a male horse girl. That's like, I don't know. What I was saying, I was trying to compliment him. The horse gets third base. Michael, Michael Chavis. Okay. Has a sweet nickname. And, you know, I feel like a lot of times you need to, like, kind of earn that yeah. nickname. Don't, 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 don't make this You're a player's hard. guy. You're a player's You're guy. You're a player's man. guy. Just saying. It's a sweet nickname. You're lucky to have He's that, finally baby. getting the opportunity he deserves in Pittsburgh. Chavis. Okay. Now, I don't know him. I should preface okay. this with saying don't know Chavis. Never heard an interview, really. Tough. Ne- well, you, we, 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 each other. we saw it at the setting Pirates game. Up. We're setting it up. Chavis likes Chavis. I'll say that. That just seems a lot about Ooh. the way he walks around. The way he walks around, the way he carries himself. He had, like, a walk-up song at the Pirates game and, like, the way he walked. And Jake and, and Jake and I were like, oh, my God, that guy looks at himself in the mirror a lot. That's the vibe I get. I, I'm going to say this. So do People I. People like it mad at me. Go yeah, on. so does Jake. And now it seems like we're piling on Chavis. I, I, I don't know anything about, about him. I don't know anything about him. Yeah, you know, I don't want to okay. say anything. Yeah. I, I, I actually, I think, um, no, I don't know. I don't oh, know. Okay. P- but Pirates walk up songs were so bad. Yeah. And Philly's walk up music was so good. Yeah. What was wrong with the Pirates? What was it? Dude, it was just, just a bunch of deep cuts. Songs. They just weren't like stadium walk up songs. Like, I think that as a player, you need to have something that gets you in the mood, but also like kind of gets the crowd going yeah. a little yeah. bit. Like, Dee Dee has Notorious. So the whole crowd's no, no. And then Lil Baby Toe had La Bamba, mm. which was fun. And they had a bunch of like, oh, Bryce Harper's had a big beat to it. And the Pirates was just like, you were listening to some underground Newman college radio station. And every time it came reasons. on, you're like, what is this? And like, if you have, you know, if you're a country guy and you're going to play a country oh, song, dude. you can have upbeat, hitting country they songs. They had like deep cut yeah. country oh. music, like country music, De- not pop country. Like didn't and, get you going up. And not indie music, but just like. Some deep track country music. There was one picture that came out. I was like, "Where are we? What is this?" Yeah. Newman when was the best. Those country boys get up. together. It's it's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Says the LA I'm, dude. I'm yeah. serious. I play with so many country yeah. boys that you get them together and they, you know, they start talking about country boy things, sure. and it's then funny. you get that kind of music. It's sad and depressing. And I, although I enjoy the music, I agree with you. It's not ballpark well, I, walk. Up I song I only music. listen to sad depressing music on my own time but if i had a walk-up song i'm not going out to like you know set mad world actually that's a, a great walk-up song mm. if the crowd gets into it it's juice world jim all around me are familiar yes. places well, coming out of the bullpen of that. Yeah. You'd come out to that. Yeah. No, I wouldn't. Song. I, I'm saying if the stadium got into it, that could you could flip that to a fun time. That's more like a reliever yeah. coming out. Yeah. You need that to yeah. build. Yeah. yeah, or like, like Mad Max. Yeah, you need it to build. Okay, anyway. Uh, outfield in the NL. Good job, Austin Riley. I do think he's going to get jumped. I think one of the big-name first basemen, Manny Arenado, turns it on for the – for the final month, JT. Uh, They're in a run right here. He's about to lead them to the playoffs. Jake Butthead story, Ellie. Well, let me say the nice thing after. Shout out to Young Thick. Shout out to Anthopolis for sticking with Young Thick and the Braves orgs because I know, Trev, your AL, all JM third baseman, you wanted to go over. Now Young Thick mm-hmm. looks like one of the best, best young yeah. three Bs in the game. We got seven minutes on the clock. NL outfield. Bryce Harper, he's there. He's Dang. still going off. Yep. His batting average starts with a three. His on base starts with a four. His slugging is five ninety. His OPS starts with a one dot. Clear cut. Juan mm. Soto, not an, not an all star, was not an all star. Yes, Juan Soto, he's also up mm. there. His numbers are looking good. Jesus, he's very close to a three hundred batting average, two ninety eight. Look at his on base percentage. Are you? A, that's a four forty three. Did you hear his quote? I know Jake did because Jake I tweeted did. about it. 
Juan Soto was like, they were talking about how he gets walked all the time, and he was like, whenever they want to play, I'm ready to play. But if they don't want to play, I'll take first. It was something along that line. wasn't That wasn't word for word, but it's an all-time quote. It's really good. Are you he's trying to pull the, it up? He's the or? real, no. real deal. He's uh, got four uh, Gibbies this year, one that Trev shares with him. So we have mm. Brian Reynolds, or are we bouncing it? Brian stays this month. We referenced young Brian Reynolds earlier. He's having an incredible year. His slugging is higher than Juan Soto's. Sitting 299, 382 on base. He plays center field most nights. Brian Reynolds having an incredible year. All JM team, I do have a feeling he may get, for lack of a better term, and I don't like this word, fucked next month. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. (laughs) Golly man That's how you curse (laughs) That in the books On the On the mound um, Well we got a lot of What's this we got Like Is Freed, Burns, Wheeler. So I think Freed was put in as if we're giving out like a silver slugger for hitter because he's hitting 325 this year. Whoops. Um, pitcher. Whoops, who's his hitting coach? Well, and then Trey Turner's our util right now, right? Trey Turner, I think he gets util over Chris Taylor. We always talk about Chris yeah. Taylor. I haven't seen him sure. yet. I don't care. He's over it. <laughs> Corbin Burns is our pitcher. What the hell? I mean, Yeah, Trey Turner gets. First of all, Corbin Burns likes us, very nice to us in Milwaukee, and he is also absolutely filthy. Before we announce how much I'm going to peacock if Corbin Burns wins the NL Cy Young this year, you could have placed that bet when Poppy told you at DraftKings, DraftKings Sportsbook, if you sprinkle a little cheddar and Corbin Burns does win, which he will because he splashed me in the face with water, so we've exchanged juices this year. He didn't know that was you. He saw my calves. By the way, if you're done with these baseball bets, make a couple niffle bets. The NFL is back with DraftKings Sportsbook, and if you bet $1 on any NFL game in the first week, you receive $200 in free bets instantly. $1, you get 200 back. That's a pretty good deal, people. This is only taking place at DraftKings Sportsbook app now. They've also got great promotions, daily odd boosts, same game parlays. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use promo code JUMBOY to receive $200 hairs and free bets when you place a $1 bet on any week one game. Promo code JUMBOY to get your free $200 and free bets instantly for a limited time only at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Must be 21 or older. New Jersey, Indiana, or PA only. New customers only. Restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com sportsbook for details. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER in Indiana. one 800 with it. Trevor, you have a question in the back. Uh, not a question, yeah. more a statement. It's actually Walker Bueller who is leading mm. the Cy Young Vegas odds. He's minus 120. Corbin Burns is in second place with a plus 225. And Coach Trev did give you that little sprinkle mm. at the beginning of the season for Walker. It's a sprinkle Cy. off. It's a sprinkle off. Jim, who was yours? For Cy? NL Cy. I can get it up right now. I don't know. do it. Three minutes. Um, Burns, Bueller, Burns, Bueller. Jim, who do you like out of Burns and Bueller before I bring up any other pitchers? Oh, my God. I was doing the search, and I just had, like, over one one or more runs allowed instead of one or less, and I was mm. so fucking confused at the results. I um, can see that. Yeah, because I had Kyle Hendricks having, like, 18. Mm. I was like, what? Zach Wheeler's still in the mix as well. Yeah, he had a tough start. He had tough two starts, I believe. Yeah. Um, six innings pitched, one earned run or less in the NL. The top two, or there's three guys tied with 14. Woodruff and Burns both have 14 games Yeesh. with six innings pitched, one earned run or less. The law firm out there Good just luck. winning cases. My goodness. Walker Bueller also 14, one earned. And they got the new intern that's going to be a partner. Soon. Yeah. So. Mm. Go Brew Crew. Dude, Born, Burns has a uh, .64 whip in those starts. Like, when he's on, you're just Jesus fucked. I, uh, That's Burns for me. Wow. Eat shit. Why? Who didn't have Burns? Trev's a Bueller guy. So 
until he dies. Oh, oh you have Bu no. I said Cor I, no. Oh, I said Corbin sweeping. Burns. Yeah, right now for this. I thought we all had Burns. Sweep fest. I thought you were talking about your sprinkle and Walker is going to win the Cy Young. Gotcha. Big yeah. month out of Walker Bueller. Another stat page to go check out when you're bored today, because you know he's good. You don't realize he's that good. Walker Bueller could have an ERA in the ones this year. <laughs> Dumb. Dumb. Stupid. Dum 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 dum. Oh my, dum. God. oh my God. All right. Flip your vote, Trev. It doesn't matter. Take Walker. You got the Dodgers hat on. Say it. I mean, Burnsy likes us, but Spit he's never on come me. on the show. Walker he's not an has. official friend of the program, but Walker is. Say it. Corbin Burns for the August All League team. I'm taking Walker Bueller. Walker Bueller, Cy Young. I've been on Walker the Walker train for some I'm time. I'm taking Walker dude. Bueller, all jam team. I'm doing Corbin Mean Burns, Girls. Cy I'm Young. splitting the crown in half and throwing it at both of them. Hmm. Hmm. Jake sucks. Hey, thanks, guys. Love you very much. Appreciate you every day. If you're still listening right now, you are our favorite.